gamers, welcome back to another episode of Vigigame Hunting. Um, another month has gone by, which means I need to do another uh, monthly recap video for everything I didn't fit into a video yet for January. Um, I don't have a whole lot this month actually, but I do have some pawn shop pickups that I haven't gotten on film yet, so I'll go through those real quick for you guys here. First up is an N64 game, Wave Race 64. One lonely NES game, unfortunately. Base is loaded. Um, a Dreamcast game, which is always a welcome find. Dave Mears, Freestyle BMX. I've actually been playing a lot of this one. Um, I didn't like it a lot when it came out back in the day. Um, I, I always preferred Tony Hawk over that, but it's actually a pretty good game, and it, it you know capitalizes obviously on the Tony Hawk formula, um, and it doesn't do it as well, but it's still enjoyable. Um, a really awesome PlayStation One find here. Oddworld, Abe's Exodus. These are great games. If you've not played them before, I recommend finding them um, and getting them if you can get your hands on them. They're really kind of quirky, dark humor, platforming type games. Um, and I got this one at a great price. I think it was like $2 as well, um, which is a steal. One PlayStation 3 game, Fracture. Um, <clears throat> it was a couple bucks I picked it up. I know I played a demo of it when it was coming out, and I wasn't it overly impressed, but I figured at that price it was worth a shot. Kind of a surprise find for me here, this is Rygar, um, the Battle of Argus for the Wii, which I didn't know there was a Rygar game after the NES, um, and it turns out that this one's actually just a port of a PlayStation 2 game, but um, apparently the Wii, uh, the Wii version is still supposed to hold up and be an alright game. And then next up are three games that um, have all been on my pickup list. I've been wanting them for quite a while, and I've just been waiting for the price to be right. And um, I actually ended up finding all three of them in one run to the pawn shop. First up is Halo Wars for the 360. Um, I'm a huge Halo fan, and this was one I'd always meant to pick up, but I never knew you know, how good it would be. I picked it up for five bucks. And to be honest, um, maybe if I'd have picked it up when it had come out, but it would have been more impressive, but at this point, as far as like a strategy game goes, it's just really clunky and slow. I'm not really enjoying it. I probably won't sink a whole lot of time into it. Uh, one that I've been wanting for a very, very long time is Catherine, which is an Atlas title. Um, and I think the gameplay is mostly like a puzzler, but the story is kind of interesting. Um, you're basically in a long-term relationship with your girlfriend Catherine, and then after a night at the bar, you wake up in bed next to a, a beautiful blonde, also named Catherine, and then you're kind of trying to decide what you're going to do between these two women and uh, which route you're going to go. Uh, so, interesting, you know, Alice titles are always a little bit quirky, but it's supposed to be a really good game and I can't wait to give it a shot. Um, a great find for my Wii collection. This is um, one of the two games that I've been waiting on um, to, as far as games that I must have for the Wii. Um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is the other one, but I got this one off my list finally. It's Kirby's Return to Dreamland, um, which was a very late release for the Wii. Um, one of the last Nintendo licensed games or produced games that they put out and um, it's actually a port of a GameCube game well not a port because it never came out for the GameCube but it, it started out as a GameCube project um, and then came to the Wii finally um, I don't think this one is you know probably because it started development for the GameCube I don't think it's as good as Kirby's Epic Yarn for the Wii um, but it, uh, it does four player co-op where I think Kirby's Epic Yarn only did two so the four player co-op is nice and it, it's a fun game still it's just not as good as Epic Yarn so that completes my pawn shop pickups for the month, and then I did have a couple random pickups outside of that, um, and I've mentioned before how Kmart and Sears appear to be getting out of selling games, or at least um, any quantity of them, so I've been picking off um, clearance items as I find them here and there, and at Kmart I picked up We Fit You, uh, it was $19.99, not an exciting pickup or anything like that, but um, one I had to grab at that price. And then another clearance item, uh, for $9.99 I got the Turtle Beach headset for the Wii U, and there isn't much point in having this since there aren't like a lot of Wii U games that have online multiplayer voice chat, but it was a good price and for what I've heard on the forums, apparently um, this actually works with the PlayStation 4 as well, including the voice chat, so if that's true, that's, that's a great price for um, a headset for two systems. And then the last up, since I talked about Amiibos last week, um, basically since Wave 3's come out I've spent most of my lunch breaks from work driving around trying to find the rest of Wave 3 that I didn't get. And um, on Friday, I finally found Sheik, and uh, it was perfect timing. I rounded the corner at Toys R Us, and the guy was just pulling about a half a dozen of these, these out of the box and putting them on the shelf, um, and I was really excited to get this one because I wanted to complete um, the Legend of Zelda line that they've gotten out so far. Um, <clears throat> and I was just watching Jay the Video Game Guy's channel, and he put out a new Game Room Tour video. Um, check that out. 
do the video game guy if you don't know who he is already. But anyway, he showed off his Amiibo display, and I realized that I haven't shown off my Amiibo display either. Um, so if you care, I'll, I'll post that at the end of this video. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. Not everybody's into them. But um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all next time.